Here's eight facts you didn't know about chameleons and their crazy eyes. Chameleons only have one eyelid. Most animals with eyelids have two of them, an upper and a lower, that blink to clean and moisten the eyeball. Chameleons, on the other hand, don't blink because they only have one cone-shaped eyelid that fuses to their eyeball and covers the entire eyeball, leaving only a tiny slit open, exposing the pupil. Chameleons have a negative lens and a positive cornea. A negative lens means it's a concave lens, and this allows for a large retinal image, leading to a greater focusing and magnification. Chameleons have the highest level of magnification amongst all the vertebrates. To accompany the negative lens, chameleons have positive corneas, which means it's convex. This improves further the level of magnification and improved sight resolution. A chameleon can effectively see in high definition. Chameleons have panoramic vision. This is thanks to the unique anatomy of their eyes. A chameleon's eyes bulge out the sides of their head. What enables this is not only the muscular eyelid that stops the eyeball popping out, but also a very deep socket, much like our own, that holds the eye in place. To enable the panoramic vision of 180 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees vertically, chameleon's eyes are mounted on small turrets that move independently so one eye can see in front of the other, meaning a chameleon can constantly scan their environment for prey and predators. Their total field of vision is about 342 degrees, with a blind spot of 18 degrees directly behind their head. Chameleons have monocular and binocular vision. The negative lens and positive cornea in a chameleon's eye means it's capable of corneal accommodation for depth perception. Most other vertebrates use lens accommodation for this purpose. This gives a higher resolution of focus. Scientists used to believe chameleons used stereopsis, the combining of images taken from each eye, to focus on their prey. Now, there is evidence that chameleons perceive depth by taking information just from one eye, hence monocular vision. Accommodation is uncoupled in both eyes when a chameleon scans the environment. The best way to describe this is like having two movies playing in your head that you can watch each one separately or both at the same time. However, when one eye focuses on an insect, it couples to the other eye guiding corneal accommodation in it, and both eyes effectively become a pair of binoculars that zoom in on their target. This coupling and uncoupling occurs in less than a blink of your own eye. Not only is this type of vision system extremely effective at scanning for and hunting for prey, it is also equally effective for escaping predators. If a chameleon spots a potential predator, it is able to uncouple its eyes, focus monocularly with one eye, and then use the other eye to scan the environment for an escape route. Chameleons can see in the ultraviolet spectrum. Scientists recently discovered that certain parts of the chameleon's bone structure glow when placed under UV light. This occurs in nearly all species tested. The process is called biofluorescence, meaning chameleons absorb light and then re-emit it to a different color. As chameleons can see in the ultraviolet spectrum, it's thought this biofluorescence is another way for chameleons to communicate with each other. This is more common in sea life and very rare in land species, making the chameleon yet more fascinating and unique. Chameleons are virtually blind in the dark. The photoreceptors that enable the retina to comprehend an image are divided into rods and cones. Chameleons have mainly cones and hardly any rods. This means that they see the world mainly in colors with very little contrast, making them virtually blind in the dark. Chameleons can see for miles. Okay, not miles, but they can see in very sharp detail for up to half a mile. This is absolutely astonishing when you consider that you can see nowhere near that distance in any detail and you are much larger than a chameleon with a much larger brain to process the images. This all comes down to the small opening a chameleon's eyelid allows over its pupil, in effect making it a tiny camera with pinpoint sharpness and detail. And finally, for the last fact, chameleons have self-cleaning eyes. When something irritating gets in our eyes, the temptation is to rub our eyes with our hands to relieve the irritation. We also use eye drops and wash our eyes with water to remove the irritant. Chameleons, however, have a much more effective method. Whenever their eyes get irritated, they push their eyeballs right up against the eyelid. The nictitating membrane moves across the eyeball in a wiping motion to clean the eyeball and remove the irritant. Chameleons can also bulge their eyes right out at times of distress, and they can also retract their eyes in times of stress as well. Thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please subscribe for more Chameleon Facts.